Hey guys, Mike from BlindsOnline.com here today and I'd like to explain how to install your skylight shade. Now this will hold true for both the 3 8 inch light filtering skylight shade and the 3 8 inch blackout. Uh, essentially they're both the same, the only difference would be the fabric. Okay, so when you unpack your box, uh, I just want to show you what's going to be in there before we actually install it. Make sure you have all your parts, your pieces. Um, the first thing is going to be the shade itself. Okay, the shade, this string is going to be coiled up. I just took the liberty of uncoiling it so you can see what the product looks like uh, in its entirety. Okay, you're going to have two painted aluminum rails. There's no plastic here, guys. Everything we do is top shelf. A uh, little handle that's going to be pre-mounted the cords that run down the side, and then your bottom rail. Okay, now you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit because today we're going to install this in a window opening just so you can see what's going on. Just imagine this up on the ceiling, okay, and it really you're going to need a minimum of three, three inches of depth to the skylight, which I explained in our measuring uh, video. However, I just wanted to point that out. So this is your skylight opening right here. This is the shade that's going to be in the box. Within the shade, and I've already taken this out, is going to be what we call um, the insert, the bottom rail insert, and what that does, it's your final step, it's going to hide all the mechanisms within the bottom rail. Okay, so first thing you're going to do when you unpack is slide this piece out, keep it over to the side uh, until we need it, and we'll take it from there. Okay, you're also going to receive two side rails. Okay, aluminum side rails. Again, no plastic. Okay, everything we sell is top shelf. They're all going to be painted white regardless of what color skylight you order. Blue, brown, or purple, your rails are always going to be white. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now if you look closely at the rail, you'll see there's two sides to it. There's the thin, smooth side and the tapered, wider side. Okay, the smooth side is always going to face down into the room. Okay, uh, for a nice clean look. Now, if your skylight is a little bit out of square and it, it, it needs a little bit more of a lip, okay, there's nothing that says you can't reverse this and use the larger lip on the bottom to accommodate and make up some space. All right, so keep that in mind. If your skylight's relatively square and your measurements are tight, then again, small side down. Okay, now I've already installed one of the side channels the side of the skylight here, okay, by inserting the screws that we provide in the pre-drilled holes, okay, so we're going to pre-drill these holes for you, the screws will be provided, so that all you have to do is bring your channel up into the skylight opening, like so, okay, grab your screw gun, and the screws that we've provided, very simple, even out the rail so that you have an even number of space, even amount of space on the top and bottom, okay, and simply drive your screws into the side of the skylight opening, just like that. Okay, so the first thing we do is we install our side rails. Okay, so now that your side rails have been installed on both sides of your skylight, we're ready for the top brackets. Okay, I've pre-installed one of the two brackets that we supply just to speed things up, but the bracket looks something like this. Okay. And what we'd like to do is get this bracket situated sort of in the middle, uh, okay, of the rail, okay, spaced evenly away from about four inches off the rail on each side, roughly, okay? So let me install this second bracket, and we'll show you how the shade actually snaps in. Now the top portion of this hole is slotted, so I like to make, put my screw smack in the center, just in case we need to move this bracket a little forward or a little backward, okay? Uh, sometimes it takes a little tweaking to get it right, so let's leave a little room for adjustment. Once your brackets are installed, we're going to take the, the whole shade and we're going to install the top rail. The top rail is the very top portion, the one above the handle. Okay, we're going to fit the bottom rail between the two tracks and let that rest Okay, uh, in between the tracks. Now remember this is pitched up in your skylight, so this is just going to be hanging there. We're going to angle this portion of the shade into the, to the tracks like so, and we want to snap the top rail into the brackets. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to fit the pointy portion of this bracket into the slot of the top rail which is what I'm going to do right now. Okay, I've pushed that, and then the back portion of your rail has to get snapped up 
toward the ceiling like that okay so now you'll hear that top rail snap into the brackets once you've done that you're almost home okay the bottom rail needs to be secured all right what we'll do is we'll take two more screws and you'll see there are some pre-drilled holes in this bottom rail there's one here and there's another on the opposite side so we're going to just center the bottom rail between the side tracks and simply screw that bottom rail right into the bottom of the skylight frame okay very simple okay and that really completes your installation now there are some adjustments before we do the final step which is to insert this cover in the bottom rail to hide all the hardware okay if you'll notice there's a little spring in the bottom rail okay this spring does two things it sets the tension of this so it doesn't come sliding down on its own because if the tension wasn't adjusted just so this shade would come slamming down all right so we want if the shade if this feels a little loose and it's not staying in place when you move it you'll need to expand that spring a little bit okay tighten up on the rope that's attached to the spring and increase the tension until this slides smoothly but stays in place when you move it okay the other thing that does is it also equalizes the skylight okay so you want to be sure that once this skylight frame is standing straight okay that the cords on the very bottom okay are locked in place now right now they're locked in place by a piece of tape okay now that tape could get old over time so what I like to do is I like to bring the screw up a bit and then just tuck the string under the screw head like so and bring it down just like that now that string is is tightly secured under the screw head which means that this string will never shift to the right or left which means that your rail your floating rail will always be straight okay the last step in the process is to cover up all the hardware and the bottom rail just by inserting your little filler strip that we give you right here which is which matches the color of your shade okay that simply gets pushed right in like so and you're done you've installed your skylight shade okay so you can operate this by a operator pole that we supply uh, for a few extra bucks or if it's not too high you can operate it by hand okay one thing I will say when it comes to skylight shades, very important, the light filtering shade is great for cutting glare, uh, but if you're looking for your maximum insulation value and room darkening capabilities, you want to order the blackout shade, okay? The light filtering shade is perfect to cut down on glare, but if you're looking for maximum insulating value and room darkening capabilities, always order your blackout. Okay, and that's Mike from BlindsOnline.com. Any other questions, you feel free to call me anytime.